Alright, so we find ourselves underneath this 99 Dodge Ram and we have to put in new shocks. So, um, you see that it goes in something similar like that, like that. So once you get the bolt out with a uh, 21 impact socket, looks similar to this, which that's what it is. Um, I uh, would oil up a little bit on those threads and then uh, also on the nut and the bolt, you know. So uh, that's just so for later on when you take it out. I got a hammer just to make sure it moves nice and easy. Once you get the last bolt off up on top, oh, look at how beautiful that should be like that. Then this thing just kind of compresses and falls right out. And that's horrible. It shouldn't act like that. See how slow that is? Oh, geez Louise. That shouldn't be like that. If I cut this, this is going to explode right into there and it's going to be perfect. So until that point, I want to try to get this lined up. And you always put this up into there first. And then hopefully when you cut it, it goes down and hits that axle. And that's how you mount that real nice and easy. So um, I'm going to lube this up and put that on there. So that's how you put a shock in. A 99 Dodge Ram. So there's only two in there here. One on this side and one on the front side. Same aspect. So I also had to drop the spare tire, by the way. Makes it uh, not necessarily for the shock, but I am doing a shackle bracket at the same time. Such as this. Snapped off. So that's how you get when you Baja. You know, gotta love it. 715 proud. So, Dodge never dies. Just gotta fix it. You know. See, oh, Dodge sucks. Oh, baloney. Never been stuck in my life. Only been held back. She's never let me down yet. So, throw on these new shocks. And we're gonna go out and roast some freaking tires. So, yeah, yeah. Peace.